down at your order of rank. We all know I'm better than all of you. I bid you a hearty welcome. Thank you. I shall mingle with all of you while my wife remains seated. She will engage later, however. You are all welcome in my heart. And they all respond thanks with their hearts as well. Both tables are full, so I shall sit at the one in the middle. Be happy, as I soon won't be. And we'll toast. You have blood on your face. It's Banquo's, but it symbolizes every murder you will ever be a part of. Well, it's better on your face than in his veins. Is he dead? Yes, I cut his throat. You are the best, and if you did the same to Fleance, you are better than the best. Fleance escaped. Now I am scared again. I was happy and free of worry, but now I am cabined, cribbed, and confined. Nice alliteration there, sir. But Banco is dead, right? Yes, my lord. You already asked that. Sorry, I'm uneasy and uncertain right now. He is lying in a ditch with 20 wounds on his head. I'll be able to kill him. Thanks. There the snake lies, and no, I'm not talking about myself. The little snake has fled, and in nature will grow into an enemy, but for now is no threat. Get out and I'll talk to you three murderers tomorrow. How did you know there was three of us? There always is. My lord, you are not entertaining the guests. If you do not make them feel welcome, they will feel like they are paying for their dinner. The whole point of dinner parties is to interact, and if you don't, it's just boring. Thanks for reminding me. Here's to good appetite, good health, and good digestion. Will you sit, sir? No, that chair has three legs. All of Scotland's nobility would be here tonight if Banquo was not absent. not here out of rudeness and not because something bad has happened to him. He's three hours late. Why are you talking like that, sir? No reason. His absence means he's broken his promise. Just like you. Please, sir, will you sit with us? The table is full. There's an empty spot right here. Where? Right here, sir. What's wrong? What kind of sick joke is this? What? You cannot say I did it, as I did not technically kill you myself. Don't shake your bloody head at me. Rise, gentlemen. The Highness is not well. Sit, friends. My husband is often like this, and has been for many years. Please, stay seated. This fit is only momentary, but is the first of... Three. Soon he will be well again. Pay no attention. Are you a man? Yes, and a bold one. One that dares look at something that would frighten the devil. But aren't you frightened by it, though, my lord? Whatever it is, wouldn't that make you the devil? Oh, nonsense. It's just a hallucination caused by your fear. Just like the dagger you saw leading you to kill Duncan. These outbursts of yours don't even look like real fear. They are more like if you were a woman telling a story. Stop it. Why are you making these faces? You are looking at a stool. Please, just look over there. What do you have to say for yourself? If the dead come back to life, what's the point of even burying them? Your foolishness makes you less of a man. I swear I saw him. Nonsense. A long time ago, when there were no laws that kept our country safe and secure, not like I follow them now, a lot of blood was spilled. Yet, since then, murders have been committed too terrible for the ear. It used to be that when men were killed, that was it. And now? They rise again with twenty fatal wounds on their heads. This haunting is even more strange than murder. My lord, your friends miss your company. I forgot. Do not be alarmed on my account, my friends. I have a strange disorder brought on by seeing the ghosts of people I have killed. Come, let's drink a toast to our dear friend Banquo, whom we miss. Hear, hear!
Go away! Your bones are marrowless, your blood cold. Do not look at me with eyes that should not see. You are acting more like a woman than I am. If you keep up this nonsense, you will lose the respect of your subjects. This insanity now better not mean insanity later. Think of this, my friends, as nothing more than a strange habit. Come as a Russian bear, a rhinoceros, or a tiger. Come at me in any form other than what you are now, and I will not be afraid. Or come alive again and challenge me to a duel in a deserted place. And if I am afraid, then you may call me a little girl, just as my wife has been constantly doing. Get out, you horrible ghost! Get out! I am a man again. Please, stay seated. You have ruined our good mood here. What? Can't these things happen without others being astonished by it? What things, my lord? Please, do not speak. He gets worse and worse. Talking to him will just make him angry. Please leave. It does not matter the order of your rank. Leave all at once. Good night. Good night. You make me feel like I don't know myself. When you stand here with redness in your cheeks and I stand here pale from fear. Well, at least your white cheeks match your white, cowardly heart, while my ruby cheeks match our red hands of courageous deeds. A murder never goes without consequences. Gravestones to be known to move, and trees to speak to bring guilty men to justice. Even the craftiest murderers have been revealed. It's only a matter of time before what we have done is exposed. What time is it? Almost morning. What do you think of the fact that Macduff refused to come even when I demanded it? Well, did you send for him, sir? I shall. In every lord's home, I have a servant to spy for me. Tomorrow, I will go see the three witches again. They will tell me more about the three prophecies, for I can feel the worst is about to come. My own safety is the only important thing now. I don't even care if you get sick and die, because I am only worried about myself. I have spilt too much blood already that if I stop now, I would just be as hard to go back to being good as it would to stop killing. So I'm just going to keep killing people. I have strange plans in my head that I must do before I have a chance to think about how morally wrong this is. You need sleep, my lord. It is the night time when all our worries disappear. Okay. Come. We'll sleep. My strange ideas just come from fear and inexperience. We are amateurs when it comes to murder which can only suggest we'll be doing much more. <laughs>